Hi there and welcome to How to Pass for Higher Administration in IT. My name is Mrs Somerville. Um, so I'm going to talk you through a little bit about the Higher Administration in IT course to begin with. Um, as you know in most subjects there is a final exam um, that has to be sat um, and the Higher Admin in, in IT exam is made up of two parts to it. So we've got the assignment which is the practical element of the course um, where the pupils are learning lots of IT skills. Um, we've also got the exam question paper, um, which is a theory paper that the pupils um, would write their answers. So they would read the questions and write their answers. So I've got some information up on the screen here that you can see. Um, the assignment practical course is worth 60 marks. Um, they set this in class. Um, during class time, um, although we'll make sure that there is allotted um, an allotted time frame um, for them to sit it. Um, they'll also have printing time um, at the end of that as well. Um, it's worth 55% of the overall course award and we normally try to get the pupils to complete their assignments prior to the Easter holidays. Um, I feel that it's really important for them to sit it before the Easter holidays whilst they're still learning and remembering a lot of their IT skills. Um, you can see from the slide up there that the topics that are covered in the assignment include databases, spreadsheets, word processing. Um, there's a little bit of PowerPoint usually in there as well as some electronic diary and email tasks as well. Um, the majority of the topics covered is made up of spreadsheets and word processing. Um, databases um, is a little bit shorter in terms of the marks that's allocated for databases and the same with PowerPoint and e-diary and email. So the larger topics tend to be spreadsheets and word processing. Moving on to the exam question paper, which is the theory paper. Um, you can see the total marks for that is 50. Um, the exam is one hour and 30 minutes long and it's actually worth 45% of the overall course award. Um, it's really important that pupils um, take note that both parts are equally important rather than focusing on one element of the course than the other. Um, the completion date for the exam question paper is during the SQA exam diet. So the higher admin and IT exam takes place on Wednesday the 26th of April um, and that's at 1.30 p.m. Um, you can see the topics that are covered um, through um, theory as well. We've got time and task management, there's teams, there's legislation, which is to do with health and safety legislation and data handling. We've also got the impact of ICT on working practices. We've got computer networks and file management, customer care, meetings, and also communication. Throughout the year, the pupils will be sitting regular class assessments. After they finish a unit of work, we'll be giving them an assessment. Um, so databases assessment um, was sat in September this year and also the time and task management and teams theory assessment was also sat in September um, of this year as well. The next assessment that the pupils will be sitting will be spreadsheets, which should be at some point during November, um, as well as the next two units of theory, which is to do with legislation and the impact of ICT. Following on from that, after Christmas time, we will normally set a word processing assessment. Um, and then the prelims should be taking place towards the end of January, beginning of February, where the pupils will have the opportunity to set a full assignment and question paper to give them a feel of what the final exam will actually be like. So I've put some useful tips on there for pupils answering the question paper, which is the theory paper. Um, I'm sure you've heard this from many other subjects, but the key is to answer plenty of past paper questions. Um, and in particular within admin, make sure that there's a focus on command words. Um, the, all pupils have access to a help sheet that tells them about the command words, that tells them what each command word actually means. And they've also been given an example question and an example answer related to the command words. Um, so it's really important that they refer to that when they are answering any past paper questions. That goes for homework as well. Pupils should make sure that they complete all homework questions that are issued to them. Um, these are usually based on past paper questions and um, homework will be handed in and marked so the pupils will get detailed feedback um, given to them so that they know what they've been doing well and what they need to improve on in terms of the structure of their answers and the content. 
pupils have access to course notes. Um, they have a paper copy of course notes. However, these are also available on Google Classroom along with some PowerPoint presentations and some activities as well. So um, make sure that pupils are, are looking at Google Classroom regularly um, so that they, um, they are aware of the content of the course and the resources that are on Google Classroom will enable them to answer any homework questions and past paper questions that they're given. Um, revision techniques is equally important, um, but it's, a, it's also important for the pupils to make sure that they use strategies that work for them. Um, so there's a variety of different revision techniques out there, including study cards, including mind maps and retrieval practice spreadsheets as well as becoming very, very popular. Um, it's really up to the pupil to try and find out what strategy works best for them in terms of revision and um, maintaining that information um, that they're learning about. With regards to the assignment, obviously the assignment is very practical based um, where pupils are building their IT skills. Um, so the key there is to practice, practice, practice. Part of this course is obviously 55%. It is IT skills based, so it's really important that pupils continue to practice the skills that they've learned and also the skills that they're currently learning as well so that they can keep improving and that they don't forget the skills. It's really easy now that we have moved on from databases and started a new unit, it's really easy for the pupils to forget about databases. So they need to keep going back and practicing um, some examples of databases so that they don't forget the skills that they've learned. Um, I haven't written it on the slide here, but obviously um, all past papers and assignments are available on the SQA website. And I do tend to put those onto Google Classroom um, as well. So any pupils that have full access to Microsoft Office at home, they can complete assignments at home using the instructions and the e-files that will be put on Google Classroom. For any pupils that don't have access to Microsoft Office at home, they're very welcome to use the business and computing department at lunch times or after school to keep practicing their IT skills. In terms of extra support that's made available to them, I will be running supported study every Wednesday after school. This is targeted at higher and national five pupils. Um, it's really up to the pupils what they want to focus on. If they tell me in advance of what topics or what areas they would like to focus on, I can make sure I've got plenty of tasks ready for them, um, good to go. However, um, if not, then I will give them um, tasks to do. Um, so at the moment, the focus in supported study will be databases because that's a topic that we've just finished. As we progress through the spreadsheets unit, then I will be able to give them some more help and support during supported study um, in relation to spreadsheets. The school offers um, weekend revision schools. They also offer, offer Easter revision school. And there's also subject tutorials that are available to pupils, which are sat the day before the SQA assignment and the SQA exam. So all of these things um, is extra support that's made available to the pupils and the hope that it will make pupils successful in passing their exam at the end of the day. That's it for me. So lastly, I would just like to say um, thank you very much for, for listening to my presentation. Um, if you do have any further questions or if I haven't answered anything for you that you would like to know about, um, then please do not hesitate to contact me. You can either phone the school or you can email me. I've got my email address up on the slide there. Um, so feel free to make contact with me and I will be happy to answer any questions for you. So thank you very much.